Our text, Leviticus 16, verse 21. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat, and confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel. Heading, Detailed Confession. Happily you have not to find a sacrifice as the Jews had to supply a bullock. God has provided himself with a perfect sacrifice, that which you have to bring to God. God brought to you first. Happily, there is no need for you to repeat the examination through which the Lord Jesus passed, both at the hands of men and of devils and of God, when he was tested and tried and examined. And even the prince of this world found no, nothing of his own in him. First, you have to attend to this one thing, namely, the laying off of your hands upon the sacrifice provided for you. To the Jews it was a sacrifice to be slain. To you it is a sacrifice already offered, and this you are to accept and recognize as your own. Second, he that laid his hands upon the head of the offering made confession of sin. I do not care what offering it was that was brought by the believing Israelite, there was always a mention of sin in it, either implied or expressed. When I accept the Lord Jesus to be my righteousness, it is a confession of sin, for I should not need His righteousness if I had one of my own. The very fact of pre presenting a sacrifice at all contains within it a confession of the need of a sacrifice, which is the confession of personal shortcomings and the want of personal acceptableness. There was a detailed confession of sin joined with the laying on of hands in the case of the scapegoat, as we have in our text. See then that if you would have him to be your atonement, whom God has appointed to be his sacrifice, you must come to him confessing your sin. Your touch of Jesus must be the touch of one who is consciously guilty. He belongs not to you unless you are a sinner. Application Confession of sin is no hard duty to some of us, for we can do no other than acknowledge and bemoan our guilt. Here we stand before you, self-condemned, and with aching hearts we each one cry. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Now, do any of you refuse to make confession of guilt? Then, do not think it hard if, since according to your own proud notion you are no sinners. The Lord should provide for you to be a Savior. I pray, Father God, make us known we all need a Savior. In Jesus' name, Amen.